What's up, Rage Nation? How y'all doing? This is Alex. You watching the Rage Nation show Transformers 4 Edition? This is just a web series where we talk about all things of Magic Media for the production of the fourth installment of the live action Transformers film franchise directed by Michael Bay. This is update number 38, and we got something to talk about. And what we got to talk about today in this episode is Chicago. As you already know, Chicago is being filmed, and Chicago was also being filmed last week because Chicago was standing in for Hong Kong. They dressed up Chicago just like as you would see streets in Hong Kong, and that was actually very interesting to me how they would use Chicago as Hong Kong as you already know Michael Bay has a great relationship with the city of Chicago because of all the huge economic uh and positive impact that they made on the city of Chicago when they were filming Transformers Dark of the Moon and now they're back in Chicago and this time Chicago is Chicago. For this week of filming, they're filming Chicago as Chicago, not Hong Kong. The reason why I know this is because they're filming at specific Chicagoan landmarks like for example the Uptown Theater. That is a Chicago landmark. It's not in Hong Kong but they're being, but they're using that as a scene in um, Transformers 4. Another reason why I know it's Chicago is because they have these propaganda photos or posters set up um, just on the streets of Chicago and they're obviously going to be filmed and these propaganda posters, if you haven't already seen it, consist of posters of Optimus Prime's face and Bumblebee's, pa Bumblebee's face rather and it shows uh, a caption and says hope and hate. Some of them mean hope because like, some of them say hope because it means that they're, they're, they're suggesting that the, 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 the Autobots are their heroes and others are, are, um, have the caption of hate. Uh, what that means is that they're, the humans are showing prejudice, prejudice towards the Autobots. So that's very interesting. Another thing that's interesting is they have posters of Decepticon faces and they say things like, they're watching us or they're watching you. So it's supposed to um, put fear into people. And what's really interesting is this Decepticon face right here. And I don't know who this face belongs to. It could be just a random Decepticon face or it could be the face of possibly Cyclonus. What do you guys think? Some people, some fans have been thinking or su and suggesting that that's possibly the face of Cyclonus. And if it is the face of Cyclonus, I'm thinking that's pretty neat. <laughs> and the main reason why I think it could be so Cyclonus is because it's got those horns. And you know Cyclonus in the G1 version had these big gigantic horns. And you know Michael Bay is going to of course change up the way these guys look. So it could be the face of Cyclonus. Who knows? And possibly Cyclonus could be that Decepticon, that ancient Decepticon who came all the way from Cyber or wherever he's from and he has his targets on earth so who knows but anyways uh, what I really want to talk about with regards to the Chicago filming is Bumblebee and Bumblebee specifically and let me explain why uh, first of all in Chicago they got the entire Autobot roster there we got uh, Optimus Prime we got Hound we got Drift we got Crosshairs and we also have Bumblebee, but both versions of Bumblebee. As you already know, um, the Camaro uh, that's uh, that represents Bumblebee, well, there are two versions of it. The 1967 Black SS Camaro and also the 2014 uh, Camaro Concept. And both of them are going to be featured in Transformers 4 and the big reason is why. Why is there two versions of Bumblebee? And the biggest reason and the most obvious reason is of course the upgrade. Okay, Bumblebee is going to make an upgrade from the black 1967 SS Camaro to the 2014 Camaro concept. And with it being in Chicago, both of them being in Chicago, that means that my theory is that, well, I guess a lot of other people's theory is that... Um, they're gonna make that transition. That upgrade is gonna take place in Chicago. It's not gonna take place in Hong Kong. It's not gonna take place in Detroit. It's gonna take place actually in Chicago. So that's gonna be a pretty interesting scene. And what's also interesting to me is how they're gonna explain why Bumblebee would go from a 2011 or 2012 concept or 2012 Camaro to a 1967 SS Camaro. Like why would that even take place to begin with? But at the end of the day, he's going to make that transition back to a 2014 Camaro, a newer and more recent release of the Camaro. So that's very interesting to me. And that's what I got to talk about. That's the main thing that I got to talk about in this episode of the Rage Nation Show Transformers 4 Edition. This was the most interesting thing I thought or fascinating thing that I thought uh, that took place in Chicago. Uh, we got more updates coming up for you guys, but before we um, do some uh, collection photos, let's do some shout outs. I want to give a big shout out to Shy Town Cylon. Shy Town Cylon, congratulations on starting up your new channel and thank you for um, 
giving me a shout out. I really appreciate that. And I want to give a big shout out to other Rage Nation members. Optimus Karn, the Botanator 3000, Mr. Pepino 444, the Frenzy Bear, Soundwave 0456, and also my buddy, Billy Keating. Thanks for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing. And also thank you for being part of the Rage Nation. I really appreciate all your support and you guys have been great. Now let's get on with collection photos from the Rage Nation. The very first photo we're gonna show off is from Espirito. And he's got a really sweet looking collection. Some of um, my favorite pieces are here. Uh, we got this Optimus Prime Leader Class along with Laserbeak and this uh, Scorponok. And we also have, in the next photo, Sentinel Prime Leader Class and also, I love this guy, Brawl. I love Brawl from, um, from Transformers 1. Um, we also have a Shockwave here from Transformers Dark of the Moon. And then on the next shelf, he's got a Revenge of the Fallen, uh, a Megatron, and also the Leader Class, uh, a Starscream. Then after that, we got Iron High. A, a, a looks like a Voyager class. No, that's a that's definitely a, a deluxe class Starscream. And then we got the Fallen. And then we of course have two Bumblebees. One of them being the Stealth Action Bumblebee. Very cool stuff. And I like the way he displayed them. It's in like these little um, white shelf cupboards or or <laughs> little cubby hole shelf thingies. And it makes it look really clean. It's not very cluttered. So I love the way it looks. So good on you, Esperito. Thanks for showing me that. Then we have a photo from Marlin Fan 1995. And um, what's very interesting is that I've never seen these these pieces before. These are SD Transformers. What I mean by SD is super deformed because you have these guys with the big heads. I really don't know what they're from, like what series they're from, but I've never seen them before and they're really neat. So thanks for showing me that. And of course you have the, the RPMs over there, these little like Hot Wheel looking um, Autobots and a couple of deluxe classes. So very, very cool stuff. Thank you for showing me. And next we have one, uh, a collection from Stefan, Steven, okay? And it's a mix of a little bit of everything. What I find really cool here is that you got um, Transformers movie toys, and you also have Generation stuff. You have masterpieces like the Thundercracker, and also I see a APS01, the Asia Premium format, the first series, and that is um, the Optimus Prime. There, you got uh, both versions of uh, the Leader Class Optimus Prime. I see the. Of course, the Chrome version and, of course, the standard version. So very, very cool stuff. You also have uh, both Fall of Cybertron, both uh, the Cybertronian versions of Optimus Prime Deluxe Class. You got the Fall of Cybertron version and the War for Cybertron version. Very, very cool. Thank you for showing me this stuff, and I really appreciate all your collection photos that you guys send me. And once again, thank you for sending me the information when you guys have scoops of Transformers 4. Some of you guys are in Chicago and you're taking uh, camera phone photos and I really appreciate that. We got a big update for you guys in update number 39. I can't believe we're all the way up to 39 now. 40 is coming up, of course, but update number 39 is gonna be pretty big because we're gonna talk about everybody's fan favorite and that would be Dinobots. That's right, Dinobots are gonna be in Transformers 4, but we're gonna talk a lot about that in the next episode of the Transformers for updates from the Rage Nation. And there you have it. Uh, stay tuned for update number 39, and I'm really happy to be here. <laughs> As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation, also follow me on Twitter, at Rage Nation. My name is Alex Yu. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. Off, uh, kind of a um, uh, um, uh, uh, James Earl Jones kind of thing going on. I don't know. But anyways, I don't think it's going to sound the exact same thing as the, the G1 Grimlock. But that's just my...